What is going on boys? It's your man Vinny Keys. I'm bringing you another highlight reel from the UOHL Olympics. We got three games in this one. Don't worry, I still will be doing a couple other games. Uh, I'm going to try and get it up before the uh, semifinals and quarterfinals and all that stuff tonight. Uh, but this one, first game we got against Team Canada. The next game we got against Team Italy. And then finally against Team Britain. But we'll get into that later. Uh, you guys can enjoy the highlights. There was a lot of great goals in these games. I might do still a goal of the week. We'll see. Maybe I'll do that later in the week while everyone's doing the demo and all that stuff. As you can see, we got off to a nice one nothing lead. Uh, you guys are going to get to see the uh, rosters at the end of the game, but I'll give you uh, at least a heads up of who's playing on our squad right now. We got Amazing on defense with myself. Uh, we got Malkin over here on the wing, right wing. We got Wagner and Drew on the on and, uh, forward as usual and MJM is back in net which is great to see he's back from his little mini vacation actually it wasn't a mini vacation it was a decent vacation it was about a week uh, we're welcoming him back it was a 2-0 lead against Team Canada we uh, had a little not a little bit of a rough start but we went 1-1 on, on Sunday night but this game I believe was from Monday uh, we wanted to have a, a nice strong finish to the season obviously since this was the last game or last week of the season they cut the Olympic short by a week which is fine because um, like I said I think it works out pretty decent there because um, uh, of the, the, the way that the demo is coming out on the 26th uh, this will probably be done on the 25th, so it won't kind of collide with anything like that, and you don't want to have to worry about people not showing up just because they want to play the demo or they're not into it anymore or whatever the situation is. Uh, you know what? I feel like the guys that have made the playoffs or that have made that final push are guys that are obviously playing. Uh, some teams didn't quite make it. No no offense to Team Germany. You guys did great. You guys had an unbelievable run, but I think there was that one night this week where you guys lost two games in a row. That was the, uh, the deciding factor because you guys won, I think, every other game the rest of the year or the rest of the way. Uh, but you see Czech Republic, I believe, made it in. And uh, you even see teams like uh, Kazakhstan. They ended up uh, sorting things out. Yeah, that's actually going to be our first round opponent. But we'll get into that a little bit later, uh, possibly in the next episode. Let me know if you guys want to see the full game against Team Austria and Team Poland. Maybe I'll just post up those full games. But I think I just still want to do a highlight highlight reel of that because they were both pretty decent games. Uh, and they both had uh, one or two goals in each of them that were just great. Unbelievable goals. So check back for that, guys. Um, you see here right now against Team Canada, the scores 4-2. You see uh, Yippie was actually in net. Uh, he was actually standing tall. He was keeping the score pretty close for the for the way that it was, the way that it was going in this game. Uh, we were pre playing pretty well, especially in the third period. We started to take over really uh, as the game was going on, like I said. They had to muster up a lineup late, but we did end up uh, getting the game together, which was uh, pretty good. Like I said, we didn't want to see him forfeit. They were on a little bit of a pretty decent sized losing streak. They were actually a third place team. Not really sure what happened. Guys just, I guess, stopped sh showing up, stopped caring about the season or whatever the situation was, as you can see. Uh, uh, we pile it on there a little bit, making it 5-2 to two on a goal by Malkin. Uh, we were able to get one more uh, in this one. We were able to sneak it by him on a little bit of a turnover and a bang in, bang in the goal by, uh, one timer by uh, Wagner. Uh, making the final score there 6-2. to two. As you can see there, we kind of dominated them on time and attack and uh, total shots. It was, but overall, it was a pretty good game. Yippie played strong, keeping the, uh, the score uh, pretty close for what it was throughout the whole thing. You get to see the lineups there pretty quickly. You guys get to see who got what and who got all the goals and whatnot. You guys can see as we're going to move on into the next next game here against Team Italy. Like I said, I know people are saying, oh, do you only post games that you win and whatnot? To be honest, like I said, I even in the regular season, I posted a lot of games, even games that I lost. I'll put it into a highlight reel, but it is my channel. Like I said, I do like to keep it, you know, I like to put a lot of wins and put a lot of the better plays on here. And like I said, if I get blown out, you don't really want to post that up and waste your time with that, to be honest with you. Like I said, think about it at the end of the day. You don't want to really be doing that. Uh, but like I said, we uh, try and put up as much as I can, especially for this stuff. Like I said, I know you guys like to see it. You guys like to see your highlights if you're in it, even if you're not on my team but you guys get to see what's going on uh you can see here we're playing against team italy we uh we're still up two to one uh but uh, they were able to get a goal back there which was huge but uh, or huge for them uh but like i said they were already out of the playoff picture in this one but they were able to put a team out uh, to play us you see there sharpie was able to get one uh we'll give you the lineup quickly here for this game just so you guys can have an idea you guys can see at the end of the game we actually had bill brasky come out and play defense with me uh we had wagner on left wing malkin on right wing and sweet louis is back from his little i don't know we'll call it a little mini vacation I guess we won't get into detail about that and MJM is still in net uh, which is great uh, like I said we're, uh, he was running basically I think he played every single game this weekend net which is great like I said he got back into the swing of things so he is ready for the playoffs this weekend which should be great like I said weekend it's going to be Sunday and then hopefully Monday Tuesday we'll see what happens keep our fingers crossed boys uh, you see there we're able to get uh, back on top with that little bit of a lucky one you see that one bounce into the slot and Malcolm able to tuck it into the bottom corner uh, you see we weren't, able, we weren't able to tuck it in on that one you see their goalie was unbelievable in this one I want to give him a 
a quick little shout out. He's my buddy here. Actually, AJM, he was actually, uh, he made a couple of huge saves in this one, like keeping the score pretty close. Um, but like I said, overall, we always play Italy pretty strong, or Paul always puts out a pretty good lineup against us and makes it a pretty decent game. Like I said, we play a lot together. You guys have seen in previous videos. If you haven't, you can check it out. If you guys are first time viewers, like I said, that's awesome. I said thanks for checking in to Vinny Keys and, you know what I mean, watching all this stuff and supporting. Uh, if you guys saw the last video, you guys saw the bloopers or whatnot. This is one of those goals that went off of uh, AJM's pad. A little bit of a weird one. We actually got a penalty shot, so we'll give him a little bit of a redemption as he went down to the spread eagle and made the big blocker save. Uh, we actually won it by four. You saw it was only about five or six seconds left with the penalty shot, so that save uh, didn't really mean too much, but it was still a great one. I wanted to put it in there for you guys. You get to see a quick little look at both of the lineups for you. Uh, like I said, it was a little bit of a mishmash for Italy, but at least they showed up, which was great. Thanks for showing up, guys, and playing the game. Like I said, it was great to see. We had a couple of forfeits this week, even against Team Russia, which was absolutely surprising. I uh, would have thought it would have been a great game to finish it off, but like I said, they, I guess they lost a couple of games this week, and they weren't too into it. Um, hopefully, they can show up for their playoff games, and uh, hopefully, it's a pretty good finish. Like I said, I know they tailed off a little bit near the end, to, but uh, like I said, we're getting into uh, the Great Britain highlights, as you can see here. We're up one nothing, which is great, um, but uh, like I said, it's, it sucks that they tailed off near the end, I guess, but not for us, really, but for them, uh, because I guess uh, they forfeited a couple of their last games, but you know, like I said, hopefully, they show up for playoffs. Hopefully, it's a great you know, a couple of games for playoffs for everybody that uh, is involved in it. Um, we'll get into the, the standings here. You can see in a couple of seconds, like I said, it was... Um we got, we got a couple of great matchups, actually, in the playoffs coming up. We got, like I said, uh, France is actually going to be running up against Team, uh, team Czech Republic. Uh, we got Team Finland, which is us, against Kazakhstan. Poland's going to be running up against Austria. I feel that's going to be one of the best round or best games. Uh, you also got USA against Team Russia. So, like I said, it's not, I'm not really sure if that's going to be the best game because I don't know if Russia's going to show up. But if Russia does show up, those two games should be really, really good. But like I said, I'm not really sure about Kazakhstan because, like I said, they have shown up for most of the games, and then there's been times where they haven't. Uh, but the last couple of games when they really needed to show up just to get into the playoffs, I'm not sure what their mentality was with that. But they have a couple of guys that are motivated to play us. See in the chat box that I think I believe it was Alpyro. He wants uh, he wants to get on the channel by beating me. So it should be interesting. Should be an interesting game tonight. I'm not sure if I am playing. We'll see what the lineups like. I want to get everybody involved as much as I can. But that's the tough part about being an owner. You got to make that tough decision. As you can see there, we won three to two. Uh, I'll let you guys know soon in the next highlight reel in the Poland and Austria games. They were great games. You guys can check back for that for uh, some great goals of the week in those guys' games. Uh, and, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the highlight reel. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm the man Vinny Keys here, boys. And, uh, like I said, enjoy the rest of the games that I'm going to be posting up in the next couple of days with uh, the rest of the gold medal game and semifinals and all that stuff. Hopefully we can get through all the way to the end and uh, you guys enjoy it. All right, boys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.